A sixth grade, today is lesson 1061. We're going to be given the mean and we're going to need to find a missing number from the data set. This is a little bit of a challenge problem, um, and I think they're pretty fun little puzzles. So, a quick reminder when we're finding the mean, the very first thing we have to do is we have to add up all the data numbers, all the data points, and then we divide by how many numbers we just added. Well, today we're going to know how many number points there are, how many data points, how many numbers and we're going to know the mean. But one of these numbers up here, not all of them, but one of them is going to be missing and we're going to have to figure it out. Let's try a problem. This problem says the mean is nine. So I'm going to write that down. The mean is nine. Find the missing value. Here are the numbers that we know so far. We know 10 and then question mark, we don't know, 12, two, and six. So although we don't know the question mark, we do know how many numbers there are. So there's one, two, three, four, five. There are five numbers. So I'm going to put that over here in this box. And I'm going to clean up this nine as well. Looks a little bit tricky to see. This is the number nine. So if we want to know the sum of all of those numbers in the list, we're going to say five, the number of values, times nine. And that gives us a total of 45. So what that means is if we add up all the numbers in the list, including the missing number, they should all add up to 45. So what do they add up to right now? Well, I see that there is 10, there's 12, there's two, and there's six, and we'll plus those together. 10 plus 12 plus two plus six is 30, but it's supposed to equal 45. So the question now is, what is that missing number? Remember, there's one more number to add. Grab that pink here. So this is our unknown number plus question mark equals 45. Now this problem, I can just kind of see it, and maybe you can too, and you immediately know what the question mark is. But I wanna remind you about unknowns. If you have an unknown in a problem, you can turn this around, use the inverse operation and take this bottom number 45, start with that number and subtract, which is the opposite of plus, the number you do know. So this problem becomes 45 subtract 30, 45 minus 30 is 15. This should be the missing number. Remember that question mark there? I'm gonna get rid of it and now put in a 15 and see if this works. Zero plus five is five, three plus one is four. Yeah, that looks like it works. So our missing number should be 15. I'm gonna write that down. Question mark equals 15. Yay! But we should check our answer as well. So do you see down here where it says check in the bottom left-hand corner? Right? To find the mean, we're supposed to add up all the numbers in the list and then divide by how many there are. So we already know that we're dividing by five and all the numbers in the list Remember how we said question mark is 15? So now let's just write that right over the top. Cover it up and write a 15 there. All right, so let's add up all those numbers. 10 plus 15 plus 12 plus two plus six is 45. Hey, that's the number we wanted it to be. Right, we'll throw that in there, 45. Right, and is 45 divided by five? Nine, yeah, great. That means we did get a mean of nine. So our missing number, our question mark, really was 15. We're going to do one more problem and then you're gonna jump right into the worksheet. Here's how you could use this skill in real life. To earn a B for quarter four, a student needs to have a mean quiz score of 85, an average score of 85. Sometimes they can score a little bit higher and sometimes they can score a little bit lower. But if we add up all the numbers and divide by how many there are, we'll get the number 85. On the first three quizzes, they scored 90, 80, and 82. What do they need to score on the next test to earn a mean of 85? So let's write that down again. They scored a 90 and an 80 and an 82. And then the question says, what do they need to score on the next test? This is important because it looks like there are three tests, but there aren't. There's one, two, three, four. There's going to be a fourth test. So our number of values is four. So to find the sum, we're gonna say that there are four values in the list. 
And if we times by that mean 85, we'll get the number that they should all add up to. 4 times 85 is 340. So these numbers right here should all add up to 340. But right now they don't. What do they add up to? Here we go. 90, 80, 82. You can add them by hand, or you are welcome to put them in the calculator. 90 plus 80 plus 82 is 252. But the total is supposed to be 340. So, a couple of options to find that unknown number. If you're really good at plussing and just being able to see the number, that's fine, but also double check your work. So our total is 340. But my preferred way is to change this plus problem into a minus problem by doing the inverse. 340, the total, subtract the number we already know, the sum so far, 340 minus 252 is 88. This means they need to score a B plus on the next test. It should be an 88. This question mark, this unknown, is 88. To double check our work, we're going to add those numbers, 90, 80, 82, and now 88. I'm going to move that up there. I'll just copy it. Move that up there. Add them and divide by 4. Here we go. 90 plus 80 plus 82 plus 88. That number looks familiar, divide by four, there's the 85. This student knows that they can't really mess around. They really need to do all of their work and they really need to practice hard on the review day to earn an 88 and then they can get a B for this quarter. Good luck on your worksheet.